Welcome to Sous Vide Everything, my name is Guga. Today we are exploring almost every way to make coffee and my cousin Mamao is gonna help me do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Chemex coffee. So this is the Chemex, it's very straightforward. Usually you have a paper filter, but I prefer to use the plastic one because you can always wash it and, you know, recyclable. Add two teaspoons of coffee grounds. Then we're gonna add one cup of water, but first you wanna pour a little bit just to let the grounds soak it up. After it goes down, you pour the rest of your cup. Once it's done filtering, your Chemex coffee is done. All there's left to do is to pour it and enjoy it. We're gonna try the Chemex coffee. This is Kayla, Angel's girlfriend. Cheers. Oh, what do you think, Kayla? I think it's good. It's not too strong, it's not too... It's very nice and yeah, soft and soft. gentle. It's like smooth. It is smooth, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> this is a nice cup of coffee. Sous vide coffee. You're gonna need two cups of water, half a cup of ground coffee, and a container to put it on. So for this one, I'm gonna be using the sous vide cold brew bags just to keep the cleanup easier, but you can also just put the grounds directly into the water and it's gonna work perfectly. Put it on the circulator for an hour and a half at 150 degrees. <laughs> Didn't expect that to happen. After going half an hour longer than I wanted, it's been two hours on the sous vide, but uh, it's ready, let's take it out. Now, the great part about using the bags is that you can just pull it out. We don't have to go through the whole straining process. Everything is already in the bag. You can just grab it out of here and throw it in the garbage. And you can pour from here or you can store it up to 10 days in the fridge. Sous vide coffee, everybody. Cheers. Oh, you redeemed yourself, mama. Good job. This one. Tastes very good, everybody. It's smooth, it's nice and gentle. It's not like kick on your face. No. It's not watered down. It's nice. This is nice. I like it. Turkish coffee. For the Turkish coffee, we're gonna use two tablespoons of coffee and half a cup of water. For the Turkish coffee, you wanna heat up some sand. What I'm trying to do is bring the water up to a boil and then let it cool down a little bit again. You're letting the boiling of the water mix the grounds. And the reason for this is to keep the grounds on the bottom all the time. I like to do this at least three times, but you can do more if you want. If you don't have sand, you can do this on the stove, but we're trying to do this traditional. Sand is a great conductor of heat, and that's why we're using it today. You wanna make sure you wear protective gloves. It's very hot. You want to pour slowly because you still have all the grounds left on the bottom. Turkish coffee, everybody. Have you ever had it, Kayla? No. First time for me as well. All right, let's try it. Oh, wow, that's really good. It's actually really good. It is good. I was yeah. surprised because of all the grains left on the bottom. Yeah. But there's not even like a grain. Very nice and smooth and no it's grain smooth, whatsoever. Yeah. This is a wonderful way to make coffee. That's a nice cup of coffee. That is a nice <laughs> cup of coffee. Very nice. Nitro coffee. So you're gonna need whipped cream dispenser, an ounce of coffee, one ounce of water, five nitrogen cartridges. Shake it for 30 seconds. Let it sit for five seconds. You're gonna squeeze the trigger to release the pressure. I'm gonna use a cup to cover it just to make sure that uh, nothing flies out and mess up the place. Now, two more cartridges. Give it a little shake. All right, and now just let it rest for an hour. So after an hour, we're gonna release the pressure one more time. All right. And we're gonna add our last cartridge. Give it a little shake. Now I'm using a strainer to hold the filter in place. Pour it over here. After you're done straining, this is concentrated coffee. So I like to put another cup of water in there just to dilute it and then back into the machine. Now we do our last canister. And now you can just serve. Hey, we'll put some sugar on it. Oh boy. <laughs> it overflowed with sugar and everything. This is interesting, Mama. I never had this it's, kind of coffee before. It's a different coffee. It's not gonna it's not like a regular coffee, definitely. Nitro coffee. Cheers. It's different. It's a cold brew, so it's a lot uh, lighter than the regular coffee. And the nitro gives it a little, little bit of a different texture. As you guys saw, it's bubbly, almost like a soda, but it doesn't taste bubbly on your mouth, right? Nope. It's different, 
I'm not sure if I'm in love with it or if I hate it. It is very mild and not very strong. Rice cooker coffee. And we're doing four tablespoons of ground coffee and two cups of water. Try to mix it already as much as you can, the water with the grounds. Turn it on and just let it do its thing. So when you see it boiling, that's done. Just turn it off. After it's done boiling, you want to pour it into a filter. And usually most of the stuff is going to stay on the bottom of the pan, but it doesn't always, so I like to use the filter. Rice maker coffee, everybody. Cheers. Oh, that is disgusting. <laughs> What do you think, Kayla? It's not good. It's not it's, good. It's like super, super bitter. Yeah, it's super bitter, diluted, terrible, <laughs> terrible <laughs> way to make coffee. Yeah, you should not. Don't stick do to, it. Stick to making rice. Error <laughs> <laughs> press. So first thing you want to do is you want to put a filter in here. They already come with a bunch of filters. And you're going to lock it in place. Take the top plunger out and you fill out with coffee to the first number. So we're gonna make two mugs. For that, we're gonna use three scoops. Put it on top of a cup, because it's gonna start brewing pretty quickly. And then we're gonna fill out with water up until number three. After you pour the water, you're supposed to mix it a little bit before you put the plunger back on. Just to make sure that everything is getting, all the grains are getting wet. Put the plunger and press it just a little but uh, let's let it rest a little bit. You start pushing until you feel a little bit of resistance. And then you continue pushing. So you're gonna want to pour some, a little bit of water just to dilute it because that is very concentrated. AeroPress, everybody. Oh, that might just be my favorite so far. <laughs> That it's one good. is fantastic. It's real good. Yes. Siphon coffee. First step over here, we're gonna remove the top and pull the water. I'm gonna make two cups of coffee, so I'm gonna fill it out until number two over there. And we're using preheated water, so this will go faster. Once that's done, so now to get this thing ready, they usually come with a little filter like this. You can just put it through with it. Lock it in place. Put this in place and make sure you seal it good. It has a rubber head over here, so you want to make sure that that's very snug. Now let's light it up and put it under here to warm up the water. While that's warming up, we're going to put our coffee in there. The equivalent of three spoons of coffee. I'm going to put the cover here just to have it there. Let it do its thing. The water is going to boil up, go up the tube, condensate, and then come down again when there's a gap in the, the air can fit in. And we're done. Now, the cool thing about this cap is that you can take this off and you can put it right there. Siphon coffee. Little mix. This is a first for me. Oh, <laughs> this is a nice one. Really? Yeah, you wanna try it? Come here, come here, come here, you try it. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna be surprised. You got sugar in there? Got some sugar in there. Need some sugar in your life. You need some sugar in your life. Try it. You tell me. I'll Go for it. Right now. Go. Wow, that is good. It is good. I burn, recommend it. Good job, Mama. A little bit though. Huh? A little burn. Nah. <laughs> Pressure pump coffee. Hand pump. Break this thing down to explain what are the parts and then do the stuff. Okay. Coffee filter goes on the bottom, so you can just put your ground in there. Now we're gonna put this on top. Screw it, and then you unscrew the top. Here comes our hot water. Pump it. Pump it. One perfect cup of coffee. Pressure pump coffee? I call this the pressure pump coffee because you gotta pump it to build pressure. Makes sense and it's perfect on the go. I love this thing. It makes one exact cup of coffee uh, all you need is a microwave. Pressure pump coffee, everybody. Let's see. Oh, that's good. That, that is good. 
That is fantastic, everybody. It wow. Comes, it, it comes out so soft, guys. It's different from pretty it's much all the other ones that I've ever tried. Momao, good job. This one is very nice. French press. Two heaping teaspoons of ground coffee. Pour enough water to soak the grounds in. Let it sit for a minute. It's one cup of water per teaspoon of coffee. So we're going for two cups of water here. And you want to put it on a spiral motion just to make sure that all the water mixes well with the grounds. So after pouring the water, let it rest for four minutes. So now we're ready to take the plunger, push the plunger down, and all you have on the top is coffee goodness. French press coffee. Everybody. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's uh, nice and smooth. <laughs> Wonderful flavor. Nice body to it. Ah, oh, I like oh. this one. I, I feel like I like a lot of them, Momo. You're going to become <laughs> a coffee addict just like me. I am a coffee addict. This is a wonderful way to have coffee. It's mm. good. It's damn good. Espresso machine. This is my oldest machine that I own. We're making two cups for right now, but you can put it up to four in there. Open the top. Put in your water. And lock it up tight. Twist, pull it out. Lock it, put in your cup. Espresso coffee. Just like I remember. Of course you already know it's good. The Cuban Cafetera. This is just for the right name. This thing is the stovetop coffee maker. Unscrew the top. And then the next thing is the filter. You want to take this out, fill up with water until that level over there. You want to cover that with water. Put the filter back in and put your coffee grounds. And you want to fill it up to the top. Pack it entirely and put the top on. Turn on your stove and put your coffee maker there. You know it's done when it starts to make this noise. All right, we call this one cafetera. What did Mama call that one? Stove top coffee maker. That sounds too complicated. <laughs> cafetera, everybody, cheers. That is how a coffee should be. What do you think, Kayla? I love it. Yes, <laughs> this is how it should be done, everybody. Amazing. There we have it, almost every way to make coffee. Mama, you did a great job, thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me, I love, I'm always up for coffee. I'm always up for drinking more coffee. Coffee is amazing, everybody. We try some different ways, we try some weird ways, uh, but most of them are fantastic, and some of them I never had before. I knew how to do them, but I never actually done them, but uh, I'm glad I got it out of my system. <laughs> are you ever feel like a coffee expert now? I'm a little bit more confident, yes. <laughs> I think he did a great job. If he missed any style that you guys would like us to try next time, please put it in the comments down below. One of them you didn't do it this time is the Vietnamese coffee. The Vietnamese coffee is fantastic and amazing. One of our favorite ways to do it that we've done it before in the channel. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Guys, we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. I'm going to make some more coffee for me. You go first. <laughs> I like coffee. I'm telling you. We out.